Yeah, so um, I would like to talk about the impact of neoadjuvant chemotherapy. Um, and uh, I would like to start with the uh, great painter uh, with Rembrandt. And uh, you all know this uh, painting. This is uh, uh, Bathsheba at her bath. Uh, and uh, she was caught, uh, that's the moment from Old Testament and the story of uh, uh, King David when he sees, the, uh, he sees Bathsheba uh, bathing uh, and uh, entranced and seduces her and impregnates her uh, in order to uh, marry Bathsheba and uh, conceal his sin. Uh, David sends her husband into the battle in order to uh, the generals to abandon him and leaving him to a certain death. Uh, but uh, that's, uh, this story is not the one that we want to discuss today. Uh, the thing is that looking at the painting, we see that uh, there is a, a tumor in, the, in, in, in her breast, in the breast of uh, Bathsheba. And uh, these days uh, we would uh, uh, more think uh, not about the beauty of this lady and not uh, what to do with her husband, but what we should do with uh, her breast cancer. And uh, these years, in most of the cases, we would send her to uh, neoadjuvant uh, uh, chemotherapy in order to uh, decrease the size of the tumor. So that's basically the uh, major goals of neoadjuvant chemotherapy, uh, which are to achieve resectability of the tumor, de-escalate breast or axillary surgery, uh, we also uh, could have the in vivo test of, uh, of sensitivity to the certain types of treatment. Uh, we could modify adjuvant therapy in uh, basically in uh, HER2 positive and triple negative tumors nowadays. And also now we can uh, increase overall survival rate uh, according to that modification of uh, adjuvant therapy. But uh, my talk would be on just de-escalation of breast surgery. And I want to show you some study that uh, uh, that could prove that idea. Uh, so one of them is this study on uh, uh, triple negative breast cancer that was done by uh, Calc B um, Alliance. So the study 4603, where we had about 400 uh, patients uh, with uh, breast cancer uh, and. Uh, <laughs> Uh, most of them uh, were uh, candidates for uh, breast uh, uh, conserving surgery uh, uh, before uh, chemotherapy. And uh, after it, uh, we see that uh, another 14% of that uh, patients uh, underwent uh, breast conserving surgery. Though, uh, if we look at the uh, numbers on this slide, I'm not sure if you can see my mouse, uh, but my, uh, you see that uh, there were uh, more candidates uh, than uh, uh, the real uh, conservative surgery was performed because uh, 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 some patients and some surgeons, they still uh, choose uh, uh, mastectomy as, uh, as an optimal uh, option uh, for... Uh, for the surgery in certain cases, also uh, including uh, breast reconstruction. Uh, uh, another uh, uh, Calc B uh, Alliance uh, study, study 4601 uh, for uh, HER2 positive uh, breast cancer patients. And we see that uh, also around uh, uh, 300 uh, patients in this study, and uh, in this study we see that uh, around 23% uh, uh, of patients who uh, were not candidates for uh, breast conserving uh, surgery upfront finally could uh, go through uh, breast conservation. Uh, in uh, uh, share lob uh, study, there were patients with HER2 positive uh, breast cancer, and actually there are a lot of studies on HER2 positive breast cancer. Uh, these patients were randomized in three arms. Uh, one was receiving trastuzumab, another lapatinib, and the, the third one received uh, both 
drugs, and we see that in uh, in these uh, three arms, the uh, rate of uh, mastectomy decreases uh, uh, pretty uh, pretty high. The conservation from mastectomy to breast conserving surgery was achieved in 61% in arm A, in 43% uh, in uh, arm B, and 60% uh, in arm B. See, so uh, this uh, in this study we see a very high result of uh, breast uh, conservation. Um, another HER2 positive study, the uh, Neo Alta study, also with trastuzumab um, uh, and lapatinib, and we see uh, the result that were shown uh, that, that are close to the study uh, to the result that we've seen in. In previous study, also about uh, additional 14% of uh, patients who became uh, candidates for uh, breast conserving uh, surgery afterwards. Uh, in Berenice's uh, study, uh, where uh, we had uh, double uh, blockade for uh, her to uh, her to positive patients. We see the uh, twenty four percent increase in breast conservation in comparison with uh, pre pre chemotherapy uh, evaluation uh, uh, of the tumor. Uh, the next study, the impact study, we uh, uh, that's the study with uh, not with chemotherapy but with uh, hormonal therapy for uh, luminal uh, 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 luminal patients, and uh, uh, there were uh, 330 patients out of uh, which uh, 124 were candidates for mastectomy, and um, after. Uh, uh, three months of uh, hormonal therapy, uh, no, 41 of them, of that 124 patients, uh, in 41 of them, uh, breast conserving surgery was performed, which, uh, uh, which shows uh, also the 13% uh, percent increase in uh, breast uh, conservation. And uh, uh, now we have the meta-analysis of... Uh, uh, several narrow event uh, studies that uh, all show that uh, as the result of that study, we see that the eligibility for breast conservation uh, uh, in uh, patients in all these studies uh, is high. Uh, and also the amount of uh, that uh, breast conserving surgery that were performed is also higher. And uh, also, we see that uh, the the shift uh, for uh, local control is also high in uh, all these uh, in all these studies. So th these are the studies. Uh, what do we see in real life? So this is the data from National Cancer Database, and we see that the this is uh, this line number three uh, for. Uh, breast conserving surgery and we see that the amount of breast conserving surgery in the united states increases every year but when we calc if we calculate the percentage of breast conserving surgery uh, uh, out of all uh, breast uh, surgery that's done in the United States, we see that um, from the year 2008 until the year 2013, that's almost a uh, stable amount. But then we see that starting from 2014, uh, we see the increase uh, uh, amount of uh, breast conserving surgeries and um, also, that results from the study that were uh, that we uh, received in the uh, last uh, uh, four or five years, uh, they uh, led to that uh, increase uh, of breast conserving surgery. What happened in our center in the same um, uh, period of time? Uh, I analyzed the amount of patients who received. Uh, uh, neoadjuvant chemotherapy uh, and uh, with uh, 
uh, that was the patients uh, without T4, so those who could uh, theoretically became candidates for uh, breast conserving surgery. And we see that those who received neoadjuvant chemotherapy uh, at baseline, uh, 172 of them were uh, candidates for breast conserving surgery. And finally, uh, we performed uh, 220 conservative uh, operations, which leads to a 15% increase in uh, breast conserving surgery in our center. So uh, though uh, we see uh, a huge uh, amount of uh, uh, Mastectomies, uh, especially those that uh, that are done with reconstruction now, and uh, all over the world we see the uh, interest in uh, even uh, bilateral mastectomy. Uh, and the, there was a perfect talk on uh, the reasons why that bilateral mastectomies are performed. Still, the amount of uh, and the breast cancer surgery increases, uh, and in my point of view, this is that's very important because uh, uh, the own breast of the woman uh, is, in most of the cases, much better than uh, any kind of reconstruction. Uh, thank you for your kind attention.